Hi, this is the second part to the poster problem. In the first part, we saw how to calculate the perimeter of our poster, and in this part, we're going to figure out how to minimize that perimeter. So the function we got for the perimeter was 20 plus 2x plus 100 divided by x. And when we put this in, as usual, we don't actually see the graph. All right, well, let's think where it should be. If we put in something easy like x equals 10, then you'd have 100 divided by 10, which is 10, plus 2 times 10 is 20. Okay, uh, 20 plus 10 is 30, plus another 20 is 50. So we actually should expect to see something starting up around 50. So let's see if we change the graphics view so that our minimum is something like, I don't know, 40, and our max goes up to, you know, say, 100. Oh, do that back at 40. Uh, okay, so now we found our curve. All right, now we're only seeing part of the curve, and maybe you're somewhat skeptical that you're actually seeing all of the interesting points. So let's zoom out a little bit and see what's really going on. All right, of course, we can ignore everything on the left because that would correspond to having negative widths, which we can't have. And uh, as we head over to the right here, uh, you can see it's just going up and up and up. All right, so. And on this side, of course, near the axis, it goes up and up and up. All right, so let's see where we can minimize our perimeter. So we'll add a point to our curve. And we'll add a tangent line through the point A. All right, and let's move that A around. Of course, as usual, we're watching the slope of the tangent line, trying to get it as close to zero as we can. You've got down to almost there, negative 0.5, negative 0.02. Ooh, okay, so that's as close as we're going to be able to get at this. View. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, we probably can make it a little more exact. But we probably don't need to make it too much more exact because the only changes now are occurring out in the third, fourth, fifth decimal places. All right, so this is going to tell us that the x coordinate of that point is 7.07 .07. and so the width that we want to make uh, the printed portion of the poster should be a little more than 7 inches and the total perimeter that we'll get will be about 48 and a quarter. 